home dia So today I'm heading out to meet the boys Haven't been flying with them for a while Been flying alone And uh, they've been busy So yeah So we're heading out to our usual spot uh, Well the weather is kind of gloomy today But well, If it rains it rains If it doesn't uh, We'll try to get one or two flights so lately I've been flying the um, HD0 micros That's mainly because of the ease of use And uh, the HD0 uh, I'm using the VRX, I haven't gotten the goggle yet uh, It's a lot smaller Because uh, I'm using a, an, an old analog um, goggles with the HDMI input Then The reason is because I was travelling so the, the, the space saving really helps a lot as compared to the DJI goggles which is pretty large and bulky um, of course there's the goggles too but it's, uh, it's not compatible with micros 1S micros especially and if, if you're talking about walk snail I'm not gonna spend money on like a whole bunch of you know VTXs and the goggles the goggles itself so I'm just sticking to whatever I have and that would work and that works for me at this point of time. Yep. So I I, I have the QX7 radio and that's the uh, the old Free Sky Tyrannis and it's pretty large and bulky. I love the radio. It's the only radio that fits in my hand perfectly. But it's my only gripe is that it's really large. Other than that um, you've been using my buddy's radio so it's a lot smaller that's a radio master zoro and compact fits in the bag easy to travel with so yeah so today i'm flying with this monkey my best bird as waiting for andy to arrive not sure if carl's coming or sujit what? Is Sujit coming? No idea. Still try. Yeah. We'll be flying micros. What are you flying today, Alan? Uh, four inch and my fox swoop. Oh, this, today is the maiden or the fox swoop, right? Yep. Let's go check out the fox swoop. Showed it the last couple of videos, but there you go. How pretty is that? This is what three S? Yep. Uh, four S. This is a oh. Oh, four, oh. 450. 450? Yeah. Oh, so slim and small. It's got the GPS, a tiny GPS, and the Express LRS receiver. Carbon frame looks nice though. Yeah, 6mm carbon. Oh, hello. You built this yourself? It's got the Happy Model mo uh, 1404? Yes, yep. Yeah. You want reliability? Get the happy model motors. What? You want reliability? Get the happy model motors. Yeah. Well, oh, I see a Vista. There you go. So this is an HD. Actually, it's a run can live. This is a run cam, run cam link. Yeah, so with, with the Vista unit. It's not a Vista. Air it's a unit, link unit mini. It's the link unit. Yeah. Looks good. Alan set up. So, that's the goggles I'm talking about. But this is his V1. Find it a bit too bulky. So. Hey! Okay. So, Andy just showed up. Because I'm on the field. So if anyone doesn't know, the baseline is the Nathan Loop Squad and this is the 885mm that he's always flying. So this is um, inspired by him. And this is the HD0 version. I I've changed the um, antenna to the dipole instead of the whip antenna hopefully I get slightly better footage also this 
baseline HD0 comes with the obviously HD0. <laughs> so this baseline comes with the UART receiver instead of the SPI receiver. It works similar to that of the um, EP1. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check this out. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.